Buongiorno e benvenuti. Hello and welcome to the ItalianCookingClass.com. This is uh, Giuseppe here again today. What I'm going to be doing is doing a pesce livornese, which is actually a typical type of a, a Tuscan coast dish. Um, there's a place called Livorno. They're high on seafood. It's right on the coast, on the west coast of Italy, up the northern end of t in Tuscany there. And um, just have a slight variation. What they do is actually flat flour it and fry it off and top it with the uh, tomato base sauce. I'm going to actually, fry, not flour it, but just fry it lightly on both sides with some of the additional ingredients like capers, olives and garlic, which just give the whole tomato a beautiful rounded flavour. We'll just fry the fish slightly on both sides with the capers and the garlic and the olives in the oil, and then we'll add the tomato to it. And what I do is I actually cook the fish with the tomato together for about six minutes. So the whole process takes about eight to 10 minutes. It's not a, uh, a long process, but it is again, a wonderful, really flavorsome, beautiful um, dish that is really enjoyable and very simple and very quick to cook. I'll show the ingredients down here. We have um, firstly a nice piece of big um, fish. A white fish is nice because it cooks quick with lots of flavour because it balances out the capers or it balances with the capers and the olives being quite intense flavours. Boneless preferably is always good. Then we've just got some olive oil, some garlic, beautiful capers. Baby capers are always better, personally I prefer. We've got some olives, salt of course, not that much, just to um, season, and some tomato. And also some white wine I'm going to add to the actual dish as well. So I'm all set, ready to go. Um, we'll start cooking. All the ingredients are here ready to go. I've even brought along the wine that I didn't um, have before. So what I'm going to do is just heat up the oil. It's a good temperature. We're going to add the, um, the olives and the capers because this is actually going to infuse the oil. Okay, so that's sizzling away nice as you can um, see that splattering away. That's actually the vinegar and the moisture off the capers. Now we're going to um, just move those capers on and we're just going to see that on one side. We're going to add the salt to that. Just for about 30 seconds on that side. We're going to add the garlic as well because that will fuse the oil and also flavour the surface of the fish. Okay, so as you can see, that's just sitting away nicely. I'm just going to um, turn that over. Some beautiful smells coming through here. As you can see, that's cooked through probably about two or three millimeters on there, on that side of the surface of the fish. I'm now going to add the wine, and I will allow that to evaporate so that the actual sweetness of the wine is still in there and the moisture has evaporated. That's why you allow that to happen so that the sweetness and the flavour of the wine stays in the dish while the moisture goes. So as you can see down here, that's evaporated just nicely. I'm now going to add the tomato. We'll just Cook that for about a minute. So we'll just flip that over. That's been for a minute on that side. We'll just turn that over. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually turn the heat right down to low. And we're going to cover that. So that in effect will actually have a little bit of a steaming effect so it will keep the moisture in the fish as well as still cook the tomato. Now you can add more tomato if you like to actually get more of a sauce, though it will take a little bit more time. But you know that's neither here nor there, it's entirely up to your own and trial and error facts and again just connect with it and really imagine in your mind what is happening at a really microscopic level. 
as an atomic structure. But anyway, that's that's a truism of it, you know. If you can really appreciate what's going on at a really small microscopic level and imagine it all taking place, it does actually happen. I'll just get a lid. In. Okay, so we've got the lid now, and we're just going to put it over there. So as you can see that steam rising. That steam is actually going to trap it, as well as cook the fish and cook the tomato as well. And we'll keep it on low. Four minutes, folks, and that'll be ready to go. It'll be just drop dead gorgeous. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. Um, we're just going to um, take that off. Take it off now. Okay. Um, we'll have a little taste of that. Not quite cooked. So what I'll do is. And that wasn't part of the game plan, but that's quite okay. We'll take the actual fish out because the fish is most definitely cooked. And we'll just turn this right up so that we can cook this little bit of sauce. And it won't take long because it is only a little bit of sauce. A little bit of tomato. We'll cook that right through and get all those beautiful, sweet tomato flavours coming through with the capers and the garlic and the and the uh, olives. It's just a wonderful combination this, it really really is. You can see that cooking away, it'll take probably a minute if not um, less. And you can see over here the um, the actual fish there, it's just so beautiful and so tender and just so moist so you can see it, it's just cooked beautifully. And that's a serving for one. And um, the, the good thing about it, this is really nice with some nice rosé or something, a very light red, you know, cold, with the nice, um, a nice side of this is really good with a nice creamy mashed potatoes. Uh, Pure di patate. <laughs> but here we go, look, this is just about done, there we go, that, that's all done now, ready to go. You can see it's really thickened up, all the moisture has gone, the tomato has cooked. Just wonderful, I'll just turn that off. And I'll just serve that up on the fish itself. We've got all those beautiful textures and flavours. And... Awesome. Beautiful with the creamy mash. Maybe even a, a side of fresh salad or greens or something, whatever you like. Um, but we'll give that a taste test now. This completed, so we'll um, we'll have a, a taste of this. Oh, look at that! Look how how nice and, and, and moist that is. That just is beautiful. It breaks away just nicely. This is actually link fish that I've um, utilised for this. It is just beautiful. That is so flavoursome. The tomatoes are so sweet with the beautiful earthy capers coming through with the olives and they just blend nicely with the garlic uh, and the tomato. It's just a wonderful, wonderful dish and um, can be utilised even if you want to break this up and use it as a filling with some lasagna or anything you like, even in some sandwiches. It's a wonderful dish. This is Livornese Caprese, Livornese Pesce Livornese from the Italian Cooking Class.com, Giuseppe here. Thank you so much for joining us.